So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, jQuery for some basic animation of the text, and then uh, I can also show how to apply this to images as well. And this is going to be getting just a little more advanced than, than some of the previous ones where we're just doing one line. So here we're doing several things. But still, um, I don't think it's uh, rocket science quite yet. jQuery as a whole, the whole purpose, of course, is to make things uh, a lot easier. So I'll show this example first. Let me pull this up into the frame. And uh, this is just when you roll over the links, they move uh, slightly right to uh, about 15 pixels. Yeah. Nice little effect while you're hovering over the links. So let's see how we can achieve that. Uh, first of all, this is just pretty simple HTML. I just give the entire area uh, an ID of nav. And then within that, in my example, I just have three links. Now, of course, you could set this up by using ordered or unordered lists to uh, display those links. And then you could format the ordered lists or, uh, again, unordered lists with the cascading style sheets. And you could make them be inline rather than block. So that would, um, that would work. But I just want to keep this as simple as possible. So they're just uh, laid out like this with the anchor tags. Okay, so just keep in mind, once again, the idea nav. That's the all-important reference that we'll be using in our jQuery for this area, as well as each of these anchor tags. So um, at this time, there's no cascading style sheets, and we just have the link up here that's linking to the external JS file that's online. Some people get a little confused by this because you still have to have the opening script and closing script tag, even though there's t uh, really no script uh, going between those. You're just doing that reference. And then to actually type our code now, we want to have a second uh, script area. Now, you could have the type up here, uh, the type attribute uh, for XHTML. That'd be more appropriate, actually. But uh, because of HTML5, again, I'm just getting in the habit right now of just uh, quickly writing up the script and closing script tag. And between that, we have our, our magic. So let me just space this out a little bit so it might be um, a bit easier to read. And this right here, as you remember, is going to be ch just checking to see if the document has been loaded. So this only works once all that HTML is loaded. And this makes it so we don't have to use a reference to um, like a uh, onload event within, within the body tag, for example. So this does it for us. And then as you also know, there's uh, more of a shortcut, but I just go ahead and use this for now. And here we have our, um, our jQuery that's going to make it so that when we hover over the, air, the, the nav ID area, that it will trigger a, a hover event. Now, you could use any type of event here. You could use a click as well, okay? and, those, and that should work. Um, and here, we're just referencing that nav area, um, the ID. And then we're also uh, specifying that we want it to be with the anchor tags. Now, you could do other tags. It doesn't have to just be the anchor, right? You could do paragraph. Okay. Um, but here we'll have it uh, for that as appropriate. Now, the this uh, keyword is actually pretty critical here because if you take that out and if you just go nav A, let me actually put the quotes in here, and you do nav A, okay, and you have that in there, then I'll just go ahead and save this up, and I'm just going to run it without doing the other side because we'll just get the point here. Uh, just hit refresh. Okay. Now, what will happen is that the whole thing goes out. Okay. Now, it gets kind of confused on the way back because I'm saying the word this. So it's like whatever one that I'm over is going to go back. But everything else keeps going out. Okay. So let me hit refresh again. Now, when I go over it, it's all going to go out. All right. So you kind of see this acting funky. That's because um, instead of saying this, I said, okay, when I'm over the nav A. And everything in, uh, in this ID area is a, is a nav a right so i want to be more specific and to achieve that you just use the keyword this okay and then that is just going to be whichever one is accepting that hover event whichever one you're actually over all right so that's actually um, not too difficult once you experiment with it a little bit you, you can see that and then here uh, is just where you're actually making the number change you know the number you're gonna be pushing uh, from the left so you don't have to stay at 15 the whole part of this is that you can be more flexible so I could make it go out to 200 and then here's just our timing and this is kind of like that set um, very similar to the to, to the set interval from JavaScript and so now it's gonna go out it's gonna take two seconds to go 200 pixels. So it should be a, a fairly smooth animation. Uh, let me see here, I got this. Okay, so that looks good. 
and I'll save this up and come back and see how it's working. Oops. And I'm trying to see where I went wrong on this one. Let me save up again. Come on back and give it a try again because it should only be doing over the particular a area. There we go. Okay, I think what's happening is that it's registering that still, and so it gets a little bit confused um, because if I roll over it really quick, then it does them all, and we don't want that. So we can avoid that by, um, well, there's a number of ways. You can actually have a callback, and then uh, which, which we will talk about later. But for right now, we'll just keep it a smaller number. So I'll say something like 15. And 15. And if you do it faster, then this is just going to be a split split part of a second. So then it'll just the whole thing will be much smoother. There we are. Great. So that works nicely. Now, the last thing to mention is that you don't have to do um, uh, just these anchor tags. You could do images as well. So you just throw an image in there. Oh, and also, um, I just want to show if you wanted to add a style. So make make the color change when you roll over it. There's a number of ways to do that. Um, one way to achieve that is just to add a style sheet down here and just put a hover in that style sheet. And so let me grab that code here. And I'll just add that in quickly down here. And here's the, the code for a um, hover for the style. And you probably recognize this if, you, if you've done very much um, CSS just with anchors. And so this just comes in, it just says the link is going to be, uh, in this case, black. And then when you hover over, over, it'll be red. So that way we're achieving the effect that it turns red as it's animating. So in a way, it kind of gives the illusion that those are hooked up together. And they really aren't, okay, it's two separate things going on with the CSS and then also with the jQuery. And you could change that color within your jQuery as well, too. But this this is one way, one way to achieve it, just when, within your style sheets. Okay, lastly, uh, we'll do an image. And so I'm just going to go ahead and change this to the word. Actually, let me just copy and paste. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this down. I'm going to put an image underneath here. There we are. And I'll just change the area to pic or picture. Let me change it to photo. That's not, there's no chance of that being a keyword anywhere. And then we'll do an image source equals. Uh, just browse to it. That'd be the easiest way to do that right now. And I'm going to pull in a cow image. It's uh, going to an old folder. Let me actually do this. It's not going to work. I'm going to just do cow.jpg. We'll see if that shows up. There we go. All right, uh, it was having a problem with my folder structure there because I had changed things um, during my lecture as far as the folders go, but I, uh, n now it's working. So we got the cow showing. I'm not gonna put any alt tag or width or height in there for now, it'll just be fine. So now when I come back up here, uh, all I have to do is change this to photo and then image. Right. And just to make sure that that's the same here, photo, image and now it should move that over instead of the text so I can come back and show this hit refresh and there you go and then I roll off and it rolls out and you could do more you know you don't have to just be stuck with one so now I can come in here and copy this and paste it and that's the whole beauty of jQuery you know you can actually be doing a lot of stuff in here you can have multiple scripts with multiple jQuery queries running uh, we could also just of course put them all within the one document at this time. And so I'll come back here and do nav and then A. All right, and so now both of these are gonna be animating. And hit refresh, there we are. Okay, and you probably would put a, a, a block or a break between here, there you are. So that's just an example of how to use some basic animation and just that you don't have to be stuck with whatever um, the book is if you're just sitting there copying it. It's going to help if you have some idea of how to customize this stuff.